Jonathan Fisher, teacher of English and drama, coach of the mighty third 15 rugby team, legendary tutor, is once again running a little late for school. Luckily, our hidden cameras were there to witness the event. He's famous for many things, not least his impersonation of bacon, grilling. Not the most conventional of English lessons, I grant you, but an excellent impersonation of bacon, nonetheless. Hello, hello darling. Yeah? No? No, I haven't got your keys. No, I haven't, I haven't seen them. No, I'm a bit late for... What? I know, I've got to go, darling. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got, I've got... I haven't got your keys. What, what, what do they look like? What, the big blue thing? What, spongy thing? I don't... I, well... When did you buy the spongy thing? I can't remember spongy thing. Blue... No, darling, I've got to go. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 not a tractor. Oh, I'm going to be really late. What's it doing? Oh, what? what's that? It's spraying what? Oh, wipers. Come on, wipers, come on. Why aren't my wipers working? Lovely. What is that? Oh, no, no. Oh. Great. Now they're working. Oh, now I'm going to be really late. Mr. Fisher's day is not going according to plan, if indeed there ever was one. Nonetheless, the show must go on. Where there is Shakespeare to be taught, nothing can stop Jonathan Fisher. I'll just nip in and get changed, and no one will be any the wiser. What? Who's she? Who's that? Oh, never mind. Now, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Well, he's, he's a poet, obviously, you know, but he's a, he's a marvellous poet. I mean, he found the best words and he put them in the best order, you see? I mean, he didn't just simply say, I'm leaving town and going to the beach and building a house at the beach, you know, at the seaside. He said, come not to me again, but say to Athens, time and hath made his ever... No, you don't have to have Athens, clearly. I mean, wherever you're living. I mean, it, uh, it just happens to be Athens in the play, you see. I mean, well, time... I mean, you could, you, you could put my name if you want to. <laughs> oh, come not to me again, but say to Athens, time and hath made his everlasting mansion upon the beach verge of the salt flood. So it's not just the sea coming in, it's the salt flood! The salt flood, who wants a day with his embossed froth! You can hear it! The boss froth, the turbulent surge shall come up! Well, but I'm getting carried away quite clearly. Sun, hide thy beams! Time and hath done. Oh, you've done that. Fish! Has done his reign. Yeah, I think you probably want to do quite well, actually. cleaned himself up and recovered slightly from bashing a cotton bud down his ear, Jonathan sets off to his class to share his wisdom on the bard. If only he could remember which class he's teaching and where it is. Uh, no, no, not in there.
Oh dear, not in there either. Lesson plan comfortably in the mind, he realises with some relief that he is in fact not late yet. There might even be time for a quick pipe to finish off that amazing lesson plan. Oh dear Jonathan, don't forget to tap out your pipe. So last week we looked at uh, Shakespeare's play Measure for Measure and we concluded that it's a well-balanced play after some serious discussion. Now, that's the mainstream sort of answer that you can actually, uh, well, gain marks for. Now, this week I'm going to go off piste a little and uh, pose the question, is Shakespeare a god? Or do we need the indefinite article? Can we get rid of it altogether? Can so we say... You to, so, you seem to be on fire. Well, possibly. Yeah, thank you for contributing, but... Um, well, yes, I am on fire intellectually, Ponsonby. Thank you very much. Uh, walking in the land of metaphor now, Ponsonby. We're getting there. Yeah. Really? So, you really are smoking. Oh, oh, so Oh dear. Still, he lives to teach another day. Jonathan Fisher, Bryanson's most missed English teacher, spectacular tutor, and Bry legend. <laughs> <laughs>